How's it going, everyone? Austin Honecker here. I just want to come on here for a while and give them a review for All Elite Wrestling's AEW Dark from last night, which was May 18th, 2021. I gotta say, it was awesome from start to finish. For the matches, match one, it was Powerhouse Hobbs versus Dean Alexander. That was a squash match, but the ending to it, Powerhouse Hobbs, went over with the Spine Buster, but after the match, Powerhouse Hobbs was announced as a participant in the Casino Battle Royal at Double or Nothing 3. Which was cool. Match 2, it was Dante Martin versus Falco. That was a great match, but the ending to it, Dante Martin went over with the 450 Splash. Match 3, it was 10 versus Ryzen. That was a great match, but the ending to it, 10, went over with the full Nelson. Match 4, it was Chuck Taylor versus Aaron Rourke. That was a great match, but the ending to it, Chuck Taylor went over with the awful waffle. Match 5, it was Lee Johnson versus Fuego Del Sol. That was a great match. But the ending to it, Lee Johnson went over with the Blue Thunder Bomb. Match 6, it was the Dark Order, which are Evil Uno and... Wait. Match 6, it was the Dark Order, which are Evil Uno and Colt Cabana versus Duncan Mitchell and Tamillion Vanish. That was a great match, but the ending to it... The Dark Order went over because Colt Cabana made Duncan Mitchell tap out to the Billy Goat's Curse. Match 7, it was Cesar Bononi versus Marco Stunt. That was a great match, but the ending to it, Cesar Bononi went over with the Argentine Slam. But after the match, Ryan Nemeth, Cesar Bononi, and J.D. Drake all attacked Marco Stunt beating the shit out of him while Peter Avalon was taunting Marco Stunt and Jungle Boy and Luchasaurus came out for the save and Ryan Nemeth, Peter Avalon, Cesar Bononi, and J.D. Drake retreated and while the Jurassic Express, which are Jungle Boy and Luchasaurus, and the Wingmen, which are Ryan Nemeth, Peter Avalon, Cesar Bononi, and J.D. Drake stared each other down and everything, which that was cool. Match 8, it was Nick Camarado versus Adrian Alanis. That was a squash match, but the ending to it, Nick Camarado went over with the power bomb. Match 9, wait, that was that was match 8 by the way. Match wait, match 9, it was Serpentico versus Sonny Kiss, that was a great match, but the ending to it, Serpentico went over with a roll-up. Match 10, yeah, that was match 9, by the way. Match, t match 10, it was Big Swole and Red Velvet versus Burt Vixen and Jasmine Allure. That was a great match, but the ending to it, Big Swole and Red Velvet went over because Big Swole pinned... Burt Vixen with the Dirty Dancing. That was match 10, by the way. Match 11, it was... Yeah, match 11, it was Griff Garrison versus Dion Roosman. That was a great match, but the ending to it, Griff Garrison went over with the Rolling Elbow. Match 12, it was Matt Seidel versus Marty Casals. That was a great match, but the ending to it, Matt Seidel went over with the lightning spiral. Match 13, it was Chris Statlander versus Diamante. That was a great match, but the ending to it, Chris Statlander went over with the Big Bang Theory. Match 14, it was Nyla Rose versus Rekka Tahaka. That was a squash match, but the ending to it, Nyla Rose went over with the Beast Bomb. But before the match, 
as Justin Roberts was doing the ring introduction for Nyla Rose, Vicky Guerrero came out and made Justin Roberts get out of the ring, and Vicky Guerrero done the ring introduction for Nyla Rose, which that was cool. Um, match 15, it was Angelico versus Vari Morales. That was a great match, but the ending to it, Angelico went over with the, with the Navarro death roll, and match 16, which was the main event, it was Brian Pillman Jr. versus Luther. That was a great match. But the ending to it, Brian Pillman Jr. went over with the springboard clothesline. But after the match, Serpentico attacked... Yes, sir. But, but after the match, Serpentico attacked Brian Pillman Jr., beating the shit out of him. And Julia Hart went backstage to get Griff Garrison and Luther and Serpentico of the... Ca of Chaos Project were getting ready to execute the creeping death on Brian Pillman Jr., but Griff Garrison and Julia Hart came out and Luther and Serpentico retreated and everything, which that was cool. But besides the matches, Matt Hardy cut a promo about, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, Matt, yeah, Matt Hardy. Besides, but besides the matches, Matt Hardy cut a promo about how him, Mark Quinn, and Isaiah Cassidy were inserted inserted in the Casino Battle Royal at Double or Nothing Three, and how three members of the Dark Order, which are Evil Uno, Ten, and Colt Cabana, were inserted in the Casino Battle Royal at Double or Nothing Three as well. And Matt Hardy was talking about how he, he was going to embarrass the Dark Order, and how he was going to win the Casino Battle Royal, and win the AEW title and everything, which that was cool. Lance Archer cut a promo pretty much targeting Miro, saying that he wanted Miro for the AEW TNT title, and that he was going to get, he was going to get what he wanted, and that everybody dies and everything, which that was cool. The Acclaimed, which are Max Caster and Anthony Bowens, done a, done a rap music video, and Max Caster was pretty much rapping and dissing on John Moxley and Eddie Kingston, and while Anthony Bowens was doing the acts and everything, which that was cool. Jungle Boy cut a promo about about being inserted in the Casino Battle Royal at Double or Nothing 3. And Jungle Boy was talking about how he, he, he could have been walking around AWT. He could have beat Darby Allin and, and walked around the AWTNT, the AWTNT champion and, and everything. But Jungle Boy was pretty much talking about at being inserted in the Casino Battle Royal and how he was going to win it and everything, which that was cool. And AEW aired a video package of the upcoming match between Ser Serena Deeb versus Red Velvet for the NWA Women's Title on AEW Dynamite and everything, which that was cool. But besides all that, Taz and Excalibur done commentary throughout the whole show. They done awesome as usual. And Ricky Starks done guest commentary along with Taz and Excalibur throughout the matches of Powerhouse Hobbs versus Dean Alexander, Dante Martin versus Falco, Ten versus Ryzen, and Chuck Taylor versus Aaron Rourke. Ricky Starks done great on guest commentary. The refer and the wait, the referees for the event were Frank Gastineau, Mike Posey, Paul Turner, Bryce Rimsburg, and Aubrey Edwards. Uh, 
Okay. Paul Turner refereed the match between Powerhouse Hobbs versus Dean Alexander. Bryce Rimsberg refereed the match between Dante Martin versus Falco. Frank Gastineau refereed the match between Tin versus Ryzen. Mike Posey refereed the match between Chuck Taylor versus Aaron Rourke. Paul, that was Mike Posey, by the way. Paul Turner refereed the match between Lee Johnson versus Fuego Del Sol. Frank Gastineau refereed the match between The Dark Order versus Duncan Mitchell and Tamillion Venish. That was Frank Gastineau, by the way. Actually, actually, hold, hold on, hold on a minute. The referees for the event were, yeah, the referees for the event were Frank Gastineau, Mike Posey, Paul Turner, Bryce Rimsberg, and Aubrey Edwards. Okay. Paul Turner refereed the match between Powerhouse Hobbs versus Dean Alexander. Bryce Rimsberg refereed the match between Dante Martin versus Falco. Frank Gastineau refereed the match between Tin versus Ryzen. Mike Posey refereed the match between Chuck Taylor versus Aaron Rourke. Paul Turner refereed the match between Lee Johnson versus Fuego Del Sol. Frank Gastineau refereed the match between The Dark Order versus Duncan Mitchell and Tamillion Benish. Mike Posey refereed the match between Cesar Bononi versus Marco Stunt. Bryce Rimsberg refereed the match between Nick Camarado versus Adrian Alanis. Aubrey yeah, that was Bryce Rimsberg, by the way. Aubrey Edwards refereed the match between Serpentico versus Sonny Kiss. Frank Gastineau refereed the match between Big Swole and Red Velvet versus Vert Vixen and Jasmine Allure. That was Frank Gastineau, by the way. Mike Posey refereed the match between Griff Garrison versus Dion Roosman. Paul Turner refereed the match between Matt Seidel versus Marty Casals. Aubrey Edwards, but that was Paul Turner, by the way. Aubrey Edwards refereed the match between Chris Statlander versus Diamante. Yeah, Aubrey Edwards refereed the match between Chris Statlander versus Diamante. Mike Posey refereed the match between. Nyla Rose versus Rekka Tahaka. That was Mike Posey, by the way. Paul Turner refereed the match between Angelico versus Vari Morales. And Bryce Rimsberg refereed the match between Brian Pillman Jr. versus Luther. All the referees done awesome as usual. Now... <clears throat> now, the match card for tonight's All Elite Wrestling's AEW Dynamite, it's going to be the Young Bucks, which are Matt and Nick Jackson, versus the Varsity Blondes, which are Brian Pillman Jr. and Griff Garrison for the AEW Tag Team titles, Serena Deeb versus Red Velvet for the NWA Women's title, Christian Cage versus Matt Seidel. John Moxley and Eddie Kingston versus The Acclaimed, which are Max Caster and Anthony Bowens. Um, wait, wait, wait a minute. <clears throat> wait. The match card for tonight's... Oh, yeah. The match card for tonight's all Elite Wrestling's AEW Dynamite. It's going to be the Young Bucks, which are Matt and Nick Jackson, versus the Varsity Blondes, which are Brian Pillman Jr. and Griff Garrison for the AEW Tag Team titles. 
Serena Deeb versus Red Velvet for the NWA Women's title. Christian Cage versus Matt Seidel. John Moxley and Eddie Kingston versus The Acclaimed, which are Max Caster and Anthony Bowens. Anthony Agogo versus Austin Gunn and Hikaru Shida versus Rebel. Those are the matches that have been announced so far. Now, besides the matches that have been announced, the Pinnacle, which are MJF, Wardlow, Sean Spears, Dax Harwood, Cash Wheeler, and Tully Blanchard will be appearing live. And AEW will be announcing the, the full match card for Double or Nothing 3. Now, now, um, now, uh, they did, now AEW did announce that, um, uh, you know, the participants so far for the Casino Battle Royal, there's Christian Cage, Matt Seidel, Matt Hardy, Mark Quinn, Isaiah Cassidy, Evil Uno, Ten, Colt Cabana, Powerhouse Hobbs, and Jungle Boy. But, anyway, I just wanted to come on here for a while and give them a review for All Elite Wrestling's AEW Dark from last night, which was May 18th, 2021. Like I said, it was awesome from start to finish. And with that being said... My name is Austin Honaker, and I will catch your ass down the road.